hi all in this video i would like to continue our topic satellite subsystem in satellite subsystem one of the important element is transponders transponders means uh, it is a subsystem included in satellite communication system uh, that can provide connecting link between the transmitting and receiving antennas of a satellite and that connecting link is known as transponder and it is one of the most important subsystem uh, among the space segment subsystem transponder or transponders are one of the key elements among space segment subsystem we have both uh, space segment and earth segment subsystem and transponders are one of the key elements in space segment subsystem and we can define transponder as a series of interconnected units and uh, they can form a single communication channel it can perform as a single communication channel and uh, it is formed by the interconnection of or a series of interconnected units and which forms a single communication channel and uh, this transponders perform many functions uh, such as uh, similar to transmitter and receiver that is uh, responder receiver means responder uh, in a satellite transponder can perform several functions of both transmitter and receiver mainly it has two functions that is amplifying the received input signal and translating the frequency of the received signal just amplification and frequency conversion these are the two major functions performed by transponders and this is the block diagram or basic block diagram for a transponder that is the main uh, functions are amplification and frequency conversion or frequency translation for that it uh, essentially needs a mixer and one of the input is the baseband signal and the uh, another input is a oscillator output and uh, from the earth station uh, the transponder receiver or transponder receives signals from the earth station and the passing through a bandpass filter it gets amplified through a low noise amplifier and the rf signal gets get mixed with the frequency converting session or frequency translator for for uh, similar for any mixer it has two input that is this rf signal and the uh, input from the oscillator microwave uh, oscillator and by combining or by mixing these two signals it will produces a another frequency and it will be converted or it will be trans transferred to low power amplifier and again back to earth station that is a transponder basically works as a receiver and a transmitter that is our main function of transponder that is amplification and frequency translation the input or the signal from the earth station is received by the uh, transponder in the space segment subsystem and it gets amplified and then the frequency is converted and again it is amplified by a low power amplifier and then it is transmitted to the earth station this is a basic block diagram for a transponder and this transponders can be classified into two as bent pipe transponder and regenerative transponder bent pipe trans transponder means it is also called as repeater and conventional transponder it it performs uh, as we already told uh, the conventional amplification and frequency translation are the two major functions of this type of that is bent type transponder and it is suitable for both analog and digital signals and the another classification of transponders are regenerative transponder as its name indicates uh, it is uh, processing or uh, it has to regenerate signals or the major function is regeneration of signals and in addition to that it also performs a modulation that is the regenerative transponder performs uh, the demodulation of rf carrier to baseband and the regeneration of signals and modulation these are the functions of regenerative transponder it is also known as processing transponder and it is only suitable for digital signals whereas bent pipe transponders are suitable for both analog and digital signals these are the major classification of transponders that are bent pipe transponder and regenerative transponder and coming to our topic uh, earth segment or earth station means in a satellite communication system the earth segment consists of the transmit and receive earth station 
That segment consists both transmit and receiving stations. And the simplest of this is uh, TVRO, that is home TV receive only. And the most complicated uh, terminal stations are used for uh, communications for a global uh, company or international communication networks. And these air stations receive and transmit different types of signals such as video, voice and data signals in both analog or digital form. And the four major elements or the main elements of an air station are uh, as you know transmitter, receiver, antenna and the tracking system. These are the four main elements of an air station. And this is the basic block diagram for an air station that is from the terrestrial network there is a baseband equipment that uh, receives and uh, transmits the signal and uh, while transmitting it gets encoded and like any communication system it gets modulated and upconverted to an intermediate frequency and there it gets signal processed or uh, amplified in through an high power amplifier and uh, finally it gets transferred or it gets transmitted through a through an antenna and while in the receiving section uh, it will uh, transfer to a low noise amplifier and uh, while in transmitting section it is um, up converted and the uh, in opposite to that it is down converted to the IF range and uh, instead of modulator there will be a demodulator and instead of encoder there will be a decoder and it gets transferred to the baseband e equipment this is the basic function of a air station in a satellite communication system and uh, while considering a station uh, i already told you that there is a transmitter that is uh, the digital information enters at the baseband equipment uh, from terrestrial network and uh, in the block diagram as you uh, said as i said encoder includes this uh, error correction bits in order to minimize the error rate or bit error rate and the up converter performs the frequency conversion to a higher frequency and this gets amplified uh, through a high power amplifier finally it gets transmitted through the antenna and in receiver uh, opposite to that uh, of uh, transmitter section it gets demodulated and uh, low noise amplifiers are used and this uh, RF signal is converted to IF value and the uh, in opposite to encoder there will be a decoder in the receiver air station and the digital data is again back to uh, again sent back to the baseband equipment for further processing and the other components in the air stations are air station antenna and tracking subsystem air station antenna means the uh, antenna field system like a transmission and a re a reception that is it is used for both transmitting and receiving electromagnetic waves. The tracking subsystem or the tracking system keeps a track with the satellite and uh, make sure that the ray or the beam comes towards it in the right direction to establish the proper communication. And uh, this tracking system present in a station performs mainly two functions that is uh, satellite acquisition and tracking of satellite uh, that is acquiring uh, acquisition of data from the satellite and also the tracking of a satellite these are the two functions performed by a tracking subsystem these are the another uh, two major components in an air station uh, related to the satellite subsystem okay that's all about this topic thanks for watching